Hello there guys, Wayne here from Lunar's World. Welcome to X-Plane 11. Bit of a tutorial video for you today regarding Ortho for XP. Um, I recently did a flight going from Jersey over to Guernsey and a lot of people commented on the kind of coastline um, and the, the kind of realistic look of the coastline blending with the sea. So, I, I don't know, I thought I would share with you um, you know what I've done in order to to do that uh, and show you a couple of variations as well so um, oh let me just stop that we're not on a BA flight today um, yeah so we're in the uh, the just flight uh, 150 commuter and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about um, in, in regards to the ortho scenery. So we'll just uh, have a quick flight up there and uh, I'll take you to the coast and you can see just in case you missed that video and then we'll go ahead and get into ortho and I'll show you the settings to create this tile. All right, here we go. Take off power set. 60 knots and rotate. stuff okay let's um let's do a left hand turn here right hand turn sorry my bad and you can have a good look at the beach area here flaps up now So as you can see, a lot of uh, really nice detail. We'll do, we will do a left-hand turn, actually. And um, we'll just take you up a little bit higher, and we'll go out to this um, kind of coast road. And I want you to see the elevation down. In fact, let's go outside. So yeah, this kind of blending effect here, and also the way it blends with the uh, the land there. This is actually, I think, could be cloud, to be honest. No, no, no. Yeah, that's definitely beach or sand. There's a couple of options, actually. You do have the ability to change this to rocks, and I'm gonna show you the difference um, a bit later on but yeah if you look here this beautiful kind of texturing here this sort of looks like almost like an underwater you can see the under underside of the mountain there um, and similarly these spots I'm not sure if they're clouds or if they are um, or if it's the sand effect I'm assuming it's the sandy effect because you can see it kind of over here um, but anyway, it kind of blends the, uh, the scenery together quite nicely. And there we go, that's a very nice shot there of the uh, ortho. Really nice detail down here. This is using the Google um, uh, source. Actually, the more I look at this, the more I kind of don't like it. I think that actually might be cloud. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see in the next um, in the next video. But uh, yeah, no, this is sand. This is definitely sand here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll change the uh, the ortho tile to rocks now, and you'll see the difference. So I'll bring you guys back in a second. Okay, guys, welcome back. So we've just taken off out of Jersey, and um, I swapped over the. Uh, tiles it's not actually going to change a beach into a rocky kind of beach that's not the the thing here but what it will do is where the um, edges of the land merge with the sea um, other than beach area that's what, what where you're going to see the kind of more rocky features for example like over here so let's head out and you can see here there is a change actually let's um, let's jump out 
circle view. So we have a little bit more texturing on the beach here. I don't think that was there before. And then over in this area, we now have a more rocky sort of a texture blending uh, the from the sea going into land. And I think I do think these are clouds actually. Um, yeah, so it depends on you can see the rocks here you can it depends on what kind of a scenery you like whether you think that looks better or not it's a personal thing um, I'm in two minds actually uh, I think this looks better I think it looks really good actually wow okay this down here looks amazing so I would say certainly for um, Jersey the rocky sort of a look is is absolutely better um, now there is a way to get rid of these clouds and actually this is a relatively small area so what I might do is I might show or do another video on showing you how to edit that out um, I do have some experience with photo editing I'm a sort of sort of amateur photographer um, so I do have some experience, well quite a lot of experience actually with photo editing. So I might do a video, let me know if you want to see that, um, you know, how to edit your ortho tiles to make them uh, cloud free. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you want to see that. But hopefully guys you can see the difference here, um, this rockier texture going between the land and the sea and the change in texture on the beaches actually so rather than just a kind of whitewash of sand we've actually got more detail on the beach and these look like I think they're clouds or maybe they're it actually waves but to me that looks much more realistic um, it looks like we've got some kind of burnt in sun I'm not, I can't tell if that is I can't tell if that is moving or not actually it looks like it is moving so maybe that's active um, maybe that is uh, explain itself doing its thing but anyway I would say um, for this area that the rockier sort of uh, effect um, definitely suits this island a bit more so there we go so let's jump into ortho for XP and we'll have a look at the settings and I'll show you um, what I've changed in order to achieve uh, this uh, this effect here. So let's uh, let's check it out. Right, guys, welcome. So this is Auto for XP 1.3. Um, if you are new to Auto for XP, then I did a video um, last year teaching you how to generate tiles. Um, so I'll put a link in the description to that video. So basically, we're going to be focused mostly on this. Um, kind of settings tab if you like um, right so uh, make sure that you have all this set up your custom scenery and your overlay um, scenery selected again check out the um, the uh, video that I did um, regarding setting this all up so um, the things that I changed in here were um, C smoothing uh, mode I change to none um, and what this does is it will use the uh, values that are coming off the C nodes so they're kept intact if you select mean it will kind of average it all out so um, if you're producing high quality tiles here sort of level 80, 17, 18 then you really want this checked if you want decent C um, and then the other thing here is the uh, number of uh, water smoothing. Um, I actually, I think this was at five, or maybe, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if I saved the configuration here, but I think I set this to 15. You can try. I'm pretty sure that was 15. Um, and then I did nothing here and then this will change the basically the ratio of C image versus X plane C so as you can see we've got a ratio of about a quarter 
um, in favor of um, the ortho. So a quarter of um, ortho imagery versus 75% of, uh, of um, X-plane water. If you set this to one, um, then you'll only, or is it actually the other way around? Sorry, it might be the other way around. If you set this to one, you will only see X-plane water. Yeah, that's right. And zero, you're only going to see the overlay and no X-plane. So yeah, you could try experimenting with that. I bumped it up to uh, 35, 0.35, so you can check that out. Um, I left Siebler alone. Um, this allows some sort of areas to be smoothed, uh, smoothed out. Um, if you get a lot of cloud, actually that might work with this particular tile, the Jersey tile, it might help to smooth out that those those uh, clouds but yeah I haven't really played around with that yet so um, I did insert a low res um, C overlay and when I read what it does uh, 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 yeah so it adds in um, it adds in both the uh, the level 18 or whatever you set for the uh, the global um, zoom level and it also blurs uh, or combines I should say um, the C ortho as well so I think you get a little bit more detail when you have this as true experimental water you can try I set this to two for the um, the, the tile that you saw and um, I set decal on terrain to true and also cast shadows to true and that's pretty much it I didn't touch anything else and then I click apply here um, actually that's a lie let's go over to here um, this is going to increase your mask level so level 16 and then this is where you uh, create basically how you want the thing to blend together so this is the, the 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 mask so the first two standard rocks requires mask width to be a single value and the three steps requires uh, a list of the form abc i'm not quite sure what that means to be perfectly honest with you uh da, 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 da. but it, yeah so it's to do with how the sea and the land blend together um, and it says here when you use rock you get a more abrupt sort of transition than you do with sand so that is actually quite important so I think for Jersey set this to rocks I think it just looks better and you can set 16 here and then um, I would enable all of these as well so um, this will cover you for uh, lakes and rivers um, instead of just a trend, um, instead of just determined by water ratio here so um, but it does give you a warning VRAM expensive and not really worth the price but I find I don't know I think it's okay experiment with it um, for me I guess I do have a, a 1080 Ti but I like the um, the, uh, the 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 detail let's just have a quick look here for example in this lake here um, so I think I think it's worthwhile doing that let me just get ortho back up here um, and then uh, imprint the masks to the uh, DDS I think this saves a bit of time on converting rather than using external PNG files so yeah yeah that's right so it doubles the size of the textures but will reduce the over -ram, the overall vram footprint so yeah as it says a matter of choice um okay so if the dem is not high res this is going to give you unpleasant pixelation uh, so again make sure you've got a, a high level zoom level otherwise keep this off if you're using sort of 16 and below keep this off 
Um, but yeah, it's just a case of fiddling around with it. I'm not, you know, an expert in the uh, the kind of ins and outs of how this all works. But I do understand, you know, the, the, the vector data, mesh data, masks, and then the imagery on the top. And if you've got a basic grasp of that, and you've had a good look in the, one of the great features which I go into in the tutorial is this uh, feature here where you can, uh, in fact, let's bring up the map. You can um, double click on an area. Let's say this is the tile for um, Jersey. And if you want to check which, um, which source is the best, whack this up to give you a bit of um, detail. So Arc, for example, let's preview that. I've got a feeling this had a bit of a, uh, a mark down the light, down the tile. You can see the progress here, which is being generated. Give it a moment. Okay, and then we scroll over to, if we can find it, whoops, where is it? Come on. Oh, maybe this doesn't have, okay. Don't use Arc because, <laughs> ah, here we go. Yeah, so to me, I mean, this just looks terrible. I mean, different colors here, not good. Um, and the resolution doesn't look good here. So again, I used um, Google. Let's preview this. Bing. And this kind of just looked better. Um, actually, this, it doesn't look great actually, but this is definitely the one I used. Um, or was it Bing? Let me just double check. It might have been Bing. Yeah, I think it was Bing. Oh no, but I didn't have these marks here. Anyway, you can experiment. You can go through and see which one you think looks the best to your eyes. Um, getting this right is really important um, because that's what you're going to live with, you know, in the sim. So let's see what this one looks like. Europe, maybe it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to generate. Give it a few seconds. No, okay. So let's try this one. And maybe no data as well. OSM um, is really just map data. Um, we'll, we'll, you'll see in a second. So quite blurry, not particularly well defined, um, in my opinion. You know, and then USA, of course, is just Google. I think pretty much the same. Yeah, uh, or Bing. I think Bing. So yeah, so you've got to just go through them and make sure. Usually Bing, Arc, or Google are tend to be the best, but it depends where you are in the world. I haven't had much luck with here, um, but always, always do a preview and check. You can set zones here. So for example, if you want uh, zoom level 19 around the airport, and then you want uh, maybe 17 for the rest of the tile, you can do that. Um, it's pretty cool. So there you go, guys. I hope that has been useful. Experiment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. See what effect you like. Um, I will do another video where we talk about taking out. I'll show you how to take out these uh, these um, uh, little kind of clouds or defects or, you know, where it gets a bit unrealistic here. That, to me, from a distance looks okay. But when you're flying over it, it looks a bit blurry and not, not so good. So, um, yeah, look out for a video coming soon on that but i hope this has been useful let me know how you guys get on and uh, i'll see you very soon take care